Oh, well played round. Yeah. I felt like my early game there was pretty good with pulling the drones away from stuff. The Nidus play, I don't think was a good idea. Because I wasn't really ahead. And they had super great vision of their bases. Really good multitasking and attentional management. Mutaling Bane. Maybe a Mutaflock. You kind of have to make some roaches against a lot of Protoss ground armies. Lingbane is a little bit too flimsy. Yeah, mixing an Aspire is not a bad idea. What's the strat against Terran? So usually they do some tomfoolery and shenanigans with Hellions and or Marines in the early mid game. And then they either commit to Bio or Mech. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. This is a very short rush map, so playing with a Roach Horn is probably safer than a Bane Mist. I have seen some Terrans go for a silly, like, full rack Stim Marine thing. So that's something to be mindful of as well. Pretty wild. I started early today. We're almost at eight hours, and I've. Normally I would be like six hours in a stream right now. Five or six. The structure of this album reminds me a little bit of Septic Flesh, where it's more of a a cinematic feeling album rather than one that's short and kind of directly what their sound is before we make queens. We fill the gas. These drones right there. Oops. Ah, that's what happened. So I don't know what they're doing in terms of like two base all in. Let's just get a roach horn and a lair. We'll play it safe. Safe and solid if we can. And now it's about time for the Protoss, or for, sorry, for the Terran shenanigans. That's why you make a 431 score per base. It could even be a simple 2 on 1. I'm 
just gonna send one wing to try to get a read. Could be 2 1 1 here pretty soon. We need to get some army. Probably move the spores more like this versus bio. That's what I'm talking about. It was a quick 3cc build, until it wasn't. My creep spread is pretty gnarly. Salutes in the chat for Oscar the Overlord. He went out swinging in the only way that overlords can. I guess also by scouting, but it was a scout and a base delay. The boss. Sixty-four workers, which is kind of low, but that means that I might be able to go for a big timing here. They haven't really scouted me, aside from the Reaper. I'll just drone behind this. I have one one now. Range and care of this. What if I hit from three sides? Would that be beast? Yeah, what if I hit from four sides? Yeah, they're just sitting at home. He is happy to sit at home. Can we do a four sided hit? Okay, we're maxed. We're going. is coming up. Let's get more attack as well. Okay, still isn't saturated. Hey. What are you doing? Oh. 
Hello, Mouth Puncher, how are you doing? Almost maxed again. Let's get a hive. Take this, spore this, creep this, inject this. Okay, let's go in for another epic engage. Nice win, bro. Thanks. That was a pretty simple make Roach open up the map, max out, bash him kind of a strat. Using multiple paths of attack was helpful, I think. The big part of taking those massive engages and taking the time to pre-split everything is um, basically the tanks can't all blast your front line down. That's a big part of what causes heck and Terran players to just destroy your Zerg army where they're just sitting next to their tanks. If you arrive with your attack all from the same angle, they just, the tank line destroys all your front units and then you're dealing with uh, a weaker army. 